Hello! When working with different relations, one question that always comes up is how do you know if you have a function or not? Well, one way to test if a relation is a function is to actually see if it matches the definition. For example, does every first component get paired with exactly one of the second component? Now, for many different applications, unfortunately the definition can be very clunky. And we don't always want to go back to the definition in order to test whether a relation is a function or not. Fortunately, there can be some quicker ways to test if you have a function. One of those quicker ways is if you have the graph of a relation. If you have a, a graph of a relation, you can apply what is known as the vertical line test. And here's what that test says. If no matter where you draw a vertical line, it only crosses the graph once, then that graph must be a function. And so this is a really quick and simple test that you can apply to a graph and immediately tell whether you have a function or not. Let's quickly go through two examples to see how this works. So here I have the graph of a relation. And I want to imagine trying to draw some vertical lines in here. Now as you can see that no matter where I draw this vertical line, it's going to end up crossing only once. And it wouldn't matter if I put this line here or even way over here, it would still only cross once. Since no matter where I put this line, it only does uh, cross once, I can say that yes, this first uh, graph here is an example of a function. Now go ahead and contrast to this second guy over here. If I try and draw a vertical line on this one, it crosses through two different spots. And because it does that, I can say, well, this is definitely not a function. So you can see this is a very quick test that you can apply to a graph. Now you might be curious, well, how does this fit in with the definition? Am I really checking to make sure that everything works out okay? And the interesting part is, yes, it actually matches up very well with our definition. Here's why. In the actual definition of a function, we have to determine if every first component gets paired with exactly one value of the second component. And on a graph, your first component represents an x value, and your second component represents a y value. Here's why that's important. When we draw a vertical line, we are essentially testing out our first component. It's like we're saying, all right, my first component is 5, does it get paired with only 1 in the second component? Well, if it only crosses once, that's an indication that it does. That for every first component I give it, it will only go to one second component. So you can see why no matter where I put that vertical line, it's basically testing all of the components. Again, compare that with something like this. If I go to put a vertical line on my graph, all of a sudden I get lots of different spots that it crosses. Now this is a problem with the definition because it says that if I'm using a first component like negative 1, then this one essentially goes to 1, 2, 3 second components. So this one is not a function. So feel free to use the vertical line test as a quick way to determine whether your graph is a function or not.